Okay, I want to talk about expert opinions because um, it's always a topic that goes around in circles. But there's a lot of th uh, theory behind a lot of the guys that have been there um, longer are more miserable. The f I don't think they are. I think their opinions have changed over time due to the circumstances. Um, people don't arrive with those opinions or attitudes. What's happened is normally something has triggered that. Because um, I, I was reading some comments the other day where people said, assumed that they, they were expecting the Western life uh, standards. They don't. Um, most of them have set up retirements for years here. Um, they didn't just do it. They didn't get on a plane and or just thought, you know what, I'm going to go to the Philippines and go and retire there. A lot of them have been married for years. Um, they're not guys that have took a decision on a whim. What's happened is things like a guy I met at Ayala. Um, I was just stood in the taxi, me and my wife were waiting to go home, and this guy just started talking to us. Now, the joke being, I don't even know where the guy came from. Uh, it appeared that he, he was Norwegian, but the way he was talking, he just wanted to talk to somebody because he's so annoyed. Um, his wife was sold placebo uh, birth control pills by a doctor in Cedar. Um If you don't know what placebo, it's a fake drug. It, it's basically a drug that does nothing. So these were fake birth control pills. His wife ended up pregnant. And now he's in his late 60s and was just planning to retire and just chill out in the Philippines. He's now having to alter his entire life around a family life that he had never planned on having. Uh, not, that, not that he was, um, what do you call it? Not that he was against family. He was just he's aware he's not 21 anymore. He's in his late 60s. He knows he ain't going to be around for the next 20 years. So... <clears throat> He threatened to sue the hospital. Funny enough, the hospital doesn't know where the doctor is anymore. The doctor disappeared, vanished, um, moving negligence. Um, and obviously his opinion changed overnight from finding out his wife was pregnant. The guy was probably quite happy going along, minding his own business until something like that happened. And a lot of people are like that. They've had one instance which is a complete nightmare or... They've had a lot of small problems. But the problem you get is over time things build up. Stuff that you didn't didn't used to annoy you annoys you because something else is stacked on top of it. Um, it's just the way it is. And I know a lot of people that complain about these guys are in their first year in the Philippines. And forget, a lot of these guys have been out there for decades, some of them. Um, and... It's just a case of these things bother you, and it's how you deal with it. Uh, I know myself, I like going out to the Philippines in February. Uh, it's February our fiesta, isn't it, Buzz? Minglanilia fiesta, February. August. August, yeah. August, I try to be away from uh, Minglanilia every year because it's fiesta. And... I'm a party going person, but I don't like music going until half past three in the morning and having stereos playing all different music in different places, all hammering at different angles as loud as possible. Um, it's not, it's not nice. And this is just part of life in the Philippines. And just because somebody says they don't like it, it doesn't make them a miserable person. What it means is they didn't like it. Um, and although people grumble about bits and pieces, nobody actually asks them, well, if that's what you don't like, what do you like? Because, especially on things like YouTube, people make opinions and um, make a, not just opinions, but also form up conclusions based on like a 10 second video, a 30 second video. That that person's like this, that's probably. You know nothing about the person. They made a video about something. And before you start being so judgmental, especially in your first year, um, spend a bit of time before you form opinions on others. It's better for everybody.
Um, especially for you in the long term, because you'll probably find out you're one of the miserable people that you're talking about five years down the line. <laughs> Thanks for watching.